And we're back with some more RimWorld. And our our Emilists here are having a great time taking part in the Emilista of Raiding, which is where they throw a bunch of Sky Lanterns up into the sky. Eh, uh, well, they would be if they'd hurry up and get it on with it. Uh, at the same time, I think we're doing quite well. Oh, It's kind of so nice and sweet that they do that, despite their entire religion being based around, you know, killing people and taking their furniture and floors. Ah, uh, how is that unimpressive? It was 12 participants, 100% chance. Ah, okay. Unimpressive? Took too long and all felt rather pointless. It, is everyone sad now? Boring Sky Lanterns. Okay. Don't understand how that messed up, but fine. We'll let everyone back to doing what they were doing. Uh, Tessex here is going to be spending the rest of their life at this anima tree. Like, all the time. That's pretty much their only goal. Now, one fun thing about the way we've set this up is... Well, not so much fun for them is they have to eat nutrient paste, so they can't carry around meals with them. And time they're hungry, they have to come back in here and grab a nutrient paste meal. Which is kind of nice, because normally people who are over here would end up just standing around eating their meal and then uh, getting the 8 without table debuff. This, of course, required them to run around a lot more, but hey, you know, what can you do? Uh, it's been a while since we've had an... Did I just get rid of the new lovers one? Damn it, there was new lovers. Who was that? Looks like it's Mitchell Skaggs and Azul Crescent have hooked up over a tale about crazy Komodos. Okay, take, takes all kinds. Uh, good thing, though, is if we check on Mitchell, they're actually, these two are very similar. A Trigger Happy Quick Sleeper. Okay, the Trigger Happy was kind of to be expected. But also a Trigger ha Happy Quick Sleeper Undergrounder. Okay. Well, well, we'll get you a double bed and move you two into a quarters in a minute. Uh, well, we're going to have to get someone to do that who's got decent construction skill. Ali, you're probably our second best constructor. You're 15? Hell yeah. Uh, once you're, you know what? Do that now. We, we want that ready by morning. We have just managed to knock out packaged survival meals. This is going to make traveling around the place a little bit easier because we can cook up some meals. We will have to make a kitchen, but that shouldn't be too difficult. I'm thinking our next step should be biofuel refining. And then we're going to want to get our hands on, well, a few things all at once. Well, just always more tech you always want. But uh, first thing we're going to want is transport pods. We're going to need those later on. We're also going to want the long-range mineral scanner. In fact, we might go with the long-range mineral scanner sooner rather than later, namely because we're going to need that to get as many components as we can so that we can build as many miniguns as we want. Right now, we're quite short on components and we're knocking out a few flak vests and sniper rifles here and there, but we just, we need 20 components per minigun and we've only got 23. I need to keep a few of those spare just in case you know, something breaks down. Uh, okay, and Azul Crescent wants a makeover. Well, cool. Go grab a makeover then, why don't you? No? Just just, just go for it. We've got uh, dyes and everything available for you. Oh, great. A cold snap. Um, I'm not even going to bother trying to save our crops. We could try walling them in and putting in stuff, but you know what? We'll just chop everything down. I don't care. Hopefully we can save enough of them before the uh, 9 is 9, minus 10. Yeah, and there we go. Crops are going to start disappearing. Eh, it happens. We'll just have to replant everything. It's no worries, Randy does this stuff occasionally. Ooh, we've got a second gar garoline pod. Ne never mind, harvest. Uh, we're going to harvest that and then plant it. We'll stick another one around this uh, this anima tree. Should be no problems. You, uh, where do you want this? But it does pretty up the area, so we'll... Yeah, we'll put it near our, uh, our soon-to-be caster. Well, soon-to-be maybe a little bit optimistic. They've got three anima grass. Yeah, they do about 12 hours of meditation a day. Hmm... We'll see. Maybe I can improve that by a little bit. I'm going to have to start tweaking their schedule. The thing is, they don't really need the recreation, do they? I think that might be a little bit better for them. Eh, what's your needs at? Yeah, recreation-wise, you should be, like, completely tired of solitary stuff. Uh, okay, so you're at 43% board. You know what? We'll see if we can get you to 100% board. Our next major threat is a mad wild boar. Just, just one. I have no idea what's going on with Randy these days. <laughs> Which reminds me, I should open up the kill box. That kill box is still closed from the last raid we had. Who's awake to do that? Ooh, one thing I should cover. I installed another mod. I think it's called Gunplay. It makes the bullets look shinier. I wanted something that looks a bit like tracers. Now, it shouldn't actually affect any game balance. Or, well, that's what the mod says. If you check under the options for the mod, where is it? Gunplay. You can, it just changed the projectile speed to 300%, but I decreased that back to 100 just so it'd be normal. So this should in theory do nothing to the gameplay. It just makes our guns look shinier. So when we fire our mini guns, they look, well, shinier. Well, that was the hope. One thing we also need to take care of is this 
all the inventory along the right hand side. I think we're going to change that to categorized, make things a little bit simpler. Then we can keep adding things that we actually care about, like, I don't know, medicine and, oh god, I hate the way it keeps scrolling everything to the... Never mind, we can, we can scroll them out as we need them. Now, I believe there was a statue bill completed on large sculptures. I think we might actually have enough just for a bit. Uh, though, I do like that our, uh, our newer statues look more, you know, emulist appropriate. So I've changed out some of the ones that were built by our guests and replaced them with ones built by Grumpy Gran. They're, they're much mm, more emulist, emulist in uh, appearance. With biofuel refining done, I'm thinking next up is the long range mineral scanner. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to need to be refining a bunch of fuel to keep the power necessary to run that thing. I think it's about 2,000 watts for that thing. It's a bit of a hog. We might, we could also go for geothermal power, but yeah, I think the closest ones we've got access to are down here. Actually, expanding out to take that one might not be so bad. Maybe we will get geothermal. Uh, the plan is not to actually stay at this base anyway. I know this base is temporary, but somehow I ended up making it a lot more permanent than I was expecting. Our next gift from Randy. Wait, rare thrombos? Hells yes. Uh, yeah, these... Okay, well, there's only three. That's fine. Once they settle down, we are going to go out with miniguns and we are going to get ourselves some uh, thrombofer. I was too slow about getting around to them the last time and a raid got in the way. So the moment they're rested... Well, the moment it's first thing in the morning, we're going to get the team out and we're going to gun down the lot of them. The thrombofer we get out of those will... Oh, it should provide dusters for at least three people and they're really good dusters. Well, we're not going to make dusters out, of course. We're going to make... Uh, what do you call these things? Ah, plain leather cape. Well, capes. We're going to make capes out of them. Same as dusters, just, uh, you know, shinier. All right, not quite first thing in the morning, but we had to clear out the fridge. The fridge was full of stuff. All right, you. Now, I'm pretty sure that one's going to go feral. If that one goes feral as well, this is going to get awkward. Thrumbo revenge. Other thrumbos nearby. You're maddened manhunter. Oh, goddamn. Okay. I do love the shinier bullets. Now, where were we? Which one of you has stun? <laughs> I haven't been using stun nearly as much as I should be, but I'm thinking now is the time to start doing that. Oh my god, uh, stun? Okay, stun as well. Oh crud. Stun? Oh wow, Grumpy Gramps is down. That was, uh... Are, are you still alive? Oh, wow. Uh, this was probably not our best efforts. Um, hmm. Really should have thought about this a bit more, but dear lord! This shouldn't be this tough. Okay, stun him again. Oh. Alright, that was a little expensive. Uh, we've got a bruise on one, and Grumpy Gran is going to be even grumpier when she wakes up. Alright, let's get everything into storage. <laughs> Maybe you should have tried running people out. I really did not expect that third one to get involved. Though I am really liking the new uh, weapon animations. Uh, the only thing left is the bloodstains. I think some of that's Gran's, and some of that's, uh, well, the mega slots. We haven't actually butchered them up yet because their fridge is too full. Somehow, we just have too much food all the time. I, uh, I'm not even sure how. It's We're living entirely off a meat-based diet. The potatoes are, are there only to, uh, well, for taming animals, that's about it, and keeping them trained up. Anyway, quest. Bloody mega slots. 24 manhunting mega slots, and in exchange we can get the jump jet tech prints, which I kind of want. Low shield pack is nice, but we've got plenty of those, and I would kind of like the jump jet pr uh, packs. Now, it's two hours after we accept it. I'm thinking we hold on to that for a little bit, just in case a raid shows up. If a raid shows up, we might be able to, like, just say it's one that prepares or sieges or something like that, we might be able to just use the me manhunting mega slots to take care of the problem, instead of us having to go out there and deal with it. I mean... Maybe Randy will be nice, we'll see. Oh, one quick tip. Just say you're trying to mine out components and you want components from all over the map. What you can do is you can select them here and then there's this little hourglass symbol on your uh, the Dubs Mint mini-maps. And then if we turn that on and off, you can see it'll highlight all of the components you can see on the map in colors. In fact, you can do that for anything. So for example, if we click on steel, it highlights all the steel nodes. Uh, if there's anything else, say, oh, compacted blast steel, it highlights all of those on the map as well, though. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, that's the only one we can see. It's not perfect. Oh, also there's gold ore, which, yeah, there's, there's not that much of that one either. Very handy. Now, what is it? Created blue for button-down shirt masterwork. That's that's very nice. If only you'd do that for our next minigun. Well, 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 Randy. You give the gifts that keep on giving. They will prepare for a while, then attack. So several separate groups of pirates from the Night Moles have arrived. Okay, so they're pirates, which means 
dangerous, but they will prepare for a while and then attack. There's some people who have relationships we don't care. Uh, where's the quest? Quest, bloody mega slots. We have 19 hours left. Randy, you're just amazing. Uh, we're gonna accept for the tech prince. And then let's see where the pirates are landing. Okay, we got ones up in the top left. Okay, middle bottom and okay here as well. So we got 12 humans right here. Eh, assortment of random guns. Over here we've got Jesus 22 humans with a triple rocket launcher thrown in. And they've got some ooh, they've got some mini guns we can steal. And finally over here we've got oh grenades. Do not like grenades. There's only one grenadier though. Uh question is where are they going to prepare? Hmm. Okay, they're all going to stand around outside. We just need two hours. Uh, we might want to change some zones and make sure everyone stays inside when the... Uh, oh, and we're going to want to get ready to close this door. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, numbers. Let's just check on the enemies for a bit. I'm sure some of them are trigger happy. We've got one trigger happy. Oh, come on. I've got a couple of toughs. Well, actually several toughs. Trigger happy appears to be incredibly rare. Oh, slow learning trigger happy. You've got to have some burning passions and something. Shooting, okay, that kind of counteracts it. Mining and crafting. Ugh. I mean, you know what? If you survive the mega slots, we'll hire you just on the grounds that you can. we can send you as a miner. Manhunter pack. Yes. Okay, mega slots, do your thing. And... I love the new weapon sounds and animations. <laughs> well, that went well. Uh, 23 mega slots left. Three of them injured, one of them dead. Oh, guys, come on. Don't, don't wander around the walls. Go find the pirates. Go find the pirates. Oh, why are you hammering on a door? Uh, I think, damn it, we might want to evacuate this area. In fact, I might want to seal that wall in. Wait, no, if we lose, if we lose this area, damn it. Okay, I need to get some people building. I think we'll pull back behind here. Wait, we'd have to leave the animals behind. Eh, you know what? I can live with that. All right, the plan. Ali is going to close up that wall there. Uh, we're also going to want to close that door. So we can get some to do that in a minute. We're also going to open up this section over here. We've got Mitchell underway to open up the door just so that someone has a way in. Oh. Oh, thank God. The pirates annoyed them. But we still need to worry about this one last group. There's 25 humans in it. And they've got some grenades, which would be bad if they decided to do stuff to our walls. Uh, door is now open. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to... No, no, we're good for the time being. We, can, we might have to send people over those a bit. Oh, wow. They slaughtered a bunch of those in open combat, no less. Okay, let's get everything sorted. We need to be ready to fight these guys. Oh, another pirate group is moving our way. What the... Where did you come from? Wow. I should have closed that door, shouldn't I? Uh, all of you get back behind cover. Except for Sean. Sean, go over there and close that door, would you? Uh, Jason, get back behind cover. Rest of you in cover. Yeah, 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 great. Ow. Paul, oh, that was a bad place to stand. What is that? Right leg, right index finger. No, it's fine. It's great. I still can't believe how well they did. Okay, we're going to need to grab that out of the doorway and... Then we're going to need to close those granite doors. Sean will get that out of the way. Then the rest of the pirates are going to come in and we're going to have to kill them. We're just trying to make sure there's no places for them to hide. Okay, and you know what, Sean? Why don't you stay over here? Okay, done, done. Pirates on the... Yeah, okay, so some of them are fleeing. That just leaves this crowd. And this is the one that has the trigger happy one in it, does it not? Yep. And yeah, they'll have a tough one as well. Bubby. Eh, we might be a body purist. Oh, God, no. Jesus. It's just the worst. We Our, our choices are a trigger-happy slow learner and a tough body purist. Ugh. Are there any injured ones just lying around the place? Uh, there's Peter the Masochist. No, 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 we don't need a masochist. A tough iron-willed misandrist. There we go. Melee and construction. Well, you know what, Sky, you might become one of us, assuming you survive all the mega slots that are out there and make it as far as the kill box, which point we might zap you. Okay, come on. Oh, yep, they're coming towards the kill box.
Okay, I can hear them spinning up. Okay. Mm. All right, this is going to be a little bit annoying because I'm going to have to figure out if I'm going to be capturing any of these. Uh, I doubt it, but you, no pyromaniac, greedy, no careful thing gonna... Dear Lord. <laughs> uh, pyromaniac, greedy, no. Uh, damn it. Careful shooter, undergrounder, no. Undergrounder, steadfast, no. I will admit, I am feeling much better about our killbox right now. It is absolutely slaughtering them. And we're not even using the marksmanship command just yet. Alright. I think they've dealt with most of the mega slots. Well, most I say. There's a whole bunch still alive, but they're all mostly outside, are they? Okay, there's 19 out there, but a whole bunch of them are injured or down. I think... Yeah, I think we're good to start zapping them. To make this work, we've only got mm, two psychic shock lances and only this one has two charges in it. So we're going to get Tessex to grab that and head over this direction. I'm pretty sure the people we're looking for, one of which is, where is it, Sky here? Uh, they're going to be very late to the party. Yeah, they're an Ironwell tough misandrist. They're going to be ages getting here. However, the other one, where is it? Cooley? They might also be too late to the party, so I want to have someone standing over here ready to zap both of them if they try and run away, and have one shock lance ready for if they make it into the kill box. If they make it into the kill box, then yes, we'll kill them. Oh, and Granny's coming to join the party. Yeah, Granny was... Uh, I'd left her out of this because she was feeling kind of under the weather, but uh, I think she, she'd like to maybe have a few words with these bad guys. Wow. The splash damage is just incredible. I'm so glad I installed that mod. It just makes it look prettier. Wow. Okay, uh... I didn't expect you to break that quickly. I suppose the, the mega slots must have made more of it, done more of a number on you than I suspected. All right, let me have a check around here, see if there's any people that are injured on the ground that we might want to capture. It's it, it it's going to take a minute. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a mess. There's still a bunch of those mega slots coming in, and I don't think they're happy with us. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, this is going to be a mess. Whatever way we look at it. Damn it! You can we get him? We can get Sky. Zap him. Sky's down. Can we get Cooley? Unfortunately, I think they're too far away. I don't think anyone's got a bead. Mm. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That is just not fair. It's slowing down our recruitment so much. All right. Maybe someone through here has got it. Nope. Where are you? Paul, you've got the psychic shock lance. And oh, you are miles away. Also, you can't move fast enough. Damn it. I think we pull everyone back inside, we're still going to have to deal with all of these mega slots. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them left. Hmm. Don't really have much of a choice. I'd really like to get my hands on some uh, gym jet packs right about now. Alright, Desix, back inside. Everyone else, I'm going to get you to stay by this door. Yeah, we'll leave this door open, leave Sean Bjog in it, and then we'll get the rest of the team behind them for a little bit of a kill box style thing. Should be fine-ish. Okay, there we go. Who was shooting? You, get 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 over here. In fact, uh, both of you get over here. We're going to need everyone up here just to make sure that these mega stuff don't do too, too, too much damage. So I, I think we got this. Jesus. Uh, anyone else want some? Oh, there's another one, and just one more, and then we can go out and capture our people. Capture the ones we want. Come on. Come on. Ah, beautiful. Right, let's go grab our newest recruit, who is in Psychic Shock and is an Iron-Willed Misandrous Tough. Yeah, I'm liking that one. I'm glad we got that one instead of the... Well, the Trigger Happy one would have been nice, but we're going for Tough or Trigger Happy. And either way, I think I think Sky will blend in quite nicely here. Well, we've got our prisoner in. We've stripped him down and removed the flak vest. They can put the rest of it back on. And there's a marriage on between Mitchell, Skaggs, and Azul. Right. That was that was really quick. Um, yeah, fair enough. We'll, we'll put you down a marriage spot. Uh, give us a miscellaneous. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. We'll stick you right there in front of the altar. We can even use the same pews. Why not? Uh, oh, and when it comes to Sky over here, the first thing we are going to do to this prisoner is convert them. Namely because they're already at 68% in their only certainty in their ideology. The longer we leave them there, the happier they're going to get. And the, well, the happier they're going to get, the more their ideology is going to strengthen. 
So the faster we get it around to cracking the religion, the less difficulty we'll have later. Because if we leave them there and start trying to actually break them, it's going to take, uh, what is the resistance, 17? It's probably going to take us about five or six days to break the resistance, at which point they will have gained about, ooh, what, five by, to say, 10, 10 to 15 points of certainty in the religion, which is 10 to 15 points we'll have to break down. Ooh, shiny pods have arrived, and in it comes our tech print. Excellent. That's jump jet pack sort. Well, we won't be able to build them for a while. We don't have the components. But, you know, once once we get enough components, we'll get around to it. Uh, Jason, actually, you can apply that immediately. That'll also give them a bonus to their intellectual, though, yeah, they're already at 13. They're doing pretty good. Another thing to note, while we're converting Sky over here, we're only using Mitchell to do it. Uh, this is something I didn't figure out until just recently, but if we go under social here, there's actually just a... Where is it? Conversion power. Just tells you the conversion power of your pawn. Should have probably figured this out. But since a moral guide gets a 200% bonus, which means they have the best chance of uh, converting someone. I mean, if you use anyone else, they don't get that 200% bonus. This means we've gone in here and we've changed the schedule for everyone so that the only person doing warden, warding is Mitchell. Unless, you know, everyone else is at four. So they should only do it if they have nothing else left to do. Literally nothing else left to do. All right. Uh, this is going to take a while, though. Even... Even with that quick dose, they're down to 59%. We'll, we'll get them there. Let's see how many days it takes. We're on the 2nd of April, May. One other thing we've set up is Grumpy Grands here is set up to do repairs. Uh, namely because she can't mess up repairs even though her construction skill is really low. But it's going to train up her construction skill, which we kind of want. Once we get it to level 5, or was it, is it level 6 construction? She can be uh, turned into a, a Mechanicus, which gives her a, uh, a bonus to production. She becomes a production specialist. But that also applies to her statues. Her statues will be one level higher, even though it has nothing to do with production. It's just uh, weird that way. Guys, what do you do? It. I'm going to want you to clean this room when you're all finished. Seriously, the place is a sty. Grumpy Graham is finally healed from all of that trombo shenanigans. Uh, as well as that, we collected a whole bunch of weapons. I've been trying to smelt them down to see if we can get components out of them. Turns out you can't. Uh, yeah, I tried smelting some machine guns, some LMGs, nothing. So, I think we're just going to sell those. This time we went, Sean, Sean went off on a little bit of a caravan trip. This place will not refresh for another four days, but we've loads of meat we can sell them. I'm thinking we head all the way up to godliness. Yeah, yeah, we haven't been there in a long, long time, and we can restock up. We're going to do a quick caravan to clear out our storage area. Uh, Sean's going to take it on the way because, well, they've got a nasty big sword, a nice uh, shield belt, and they should be able to handle anything that shows up. Well, that's the theory. All right, caravan is on the way, and while that's on the way, I did have to make a few changes. I'd forgotten to strip some of these corpses because they have uh, low shield packs. Those low shield packs don't fall off. You have to come out and strip down the bodies. So there's a whole bunch of low shield packs that we can gain access to here. Uh, normally, those things get expended. The moment you start shooting at them, they pop them, but because they got mauled to death by uh, mega slots, they never got a chance to utilize them. Our caravan has arrived, and... Okay, no Psychic Insanity Lances, no Shock Lances, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, we managed to sell off most of this stuff, and we've come back with 25 components, which will be another minigun. One Doomsday and one Jump Jet Pack. Though there's a couple of things I would like, like, they've got two words of inspiration. Just one word of inspiration would be great, and they also have a Bionic Eye. One of our people could definitely do with that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll definitely be back, though. Uh, you, head back this direction, please. Oh, actually... You've got a thousand. Go trade with the Black Trouble Tribe. Maybe they have a Shock Lance or an Insanity Lance you can nab. In the meantime, some of those corpses we stripped, I decided to grab the uh, the Marine Armor they were wearing and try and scrap it. Uh, turns out it just gives you Uranium and Plasteel. No actual components either. Looks like we're just going to have to get all our components the hard way. Oh, Chaplain can cast abilities again. I actually installed a mod so that notification comes up every time. I think once we finish that wall segment over there, it's going to be time for a conversion ceremony. I probably should have done that first. But yeah, we'll, con we'll do a conversion ritual, and it shouldn't take that long. Was it Landor? No, we want to convert Sky. Well, it looks like the tribes do have a shock lance. That's good for us. We've only got two charges left between everything at home. Oh, and they've got some components as well. Yep, yep, we'll, we'll take as many as you... Oh, damn it. Okay, we'll take as many as we've got money for. Hey, everyone head back home. That has been a very productive trade route. In fact, this one down here, what are we at? 2.6 days. Once that's ready to go in 2.6 days, we're going to clean them out, namely because we just have so much meat. We can scrap up a whole bunch of mega slots. Actually, also the thrombos. Yeah, we'll scrap up the thrombo as well so that we can do some more uh, thrombo fur jackets. And you. Hmm. 
I'm just thinking, we can't keep everything plugged in just at the moment, namely because this uh, electric smelter requires 700 watts, and if I keep everything plugged in, the battery power starts to go down. Uh, maybe a solar panel. No, 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 wasting components. Time for a quick conversion ritual on Sky. They've even got appropriate attire, I think. So, effectiveness. Right, we've got 70% expected quality, 76%, which means we've got about a 56% chance it's effective, 20% chance it's masterful, roughly. So, 75%, say a 75% chance that well, this will be positive, but there's a 25% chance this will actually reinforce their current beliefs. I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest. I mean, it's a it's a chance I'm willing to take, but even if we just get effective, it'll give us a 30% decrease in their... Uh, a 30% decrease in their beliefs. I can kind of work with those odds. Come on. Yeah, what are you saying? Uh, described uni uniting for the greater good. Discussed fear and safety. <laughs> Talked about love and hate. Yeah, mankind's history. Whole bunch of nice stuff. Explaining choosing the right to belief. You don't have any of those rights around here. Oh god. Yeah, after some of the things we've done. How are you looking actually? What's your resistance? Global certainty loss factor 25%. Okay. A terrible conversion ritual. Wow, they just gained 20 percentage points. That was, um... Yep, okay. Mildly regretting that. Just, just a little bit. God damn it. Those iron wheeled people are just the worst. Ah, fine, we'll just do a regular conversion on you. Oh, you're sleeping. Hmm, yeah. Gotcha. God damn it. I should stick you in the pit. Actually, not even the pit would do much good on these ones. Problem is, they don't mind corpses at all, so that means rotten or regular corpses, they don't care. So sticking them in here, the worst thing we could do is starve them for a few days until they hopefully have a mental break. Of course, they're iron-willed, so we'd have to get them down to below 4% or 2.4%? 2.4%? Holy Christ! No, 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 we'll just, we'll just do it the regular way, it'll take a bit of time, but we'll break them eventually. Grumpy Gramps has gifted us with a legendary statue, which unfortunately is really boring. Uh, this piece is shaped like a palm tree. The scenes take place on the outskirts of the village. Um, okay. Uh, great. I suppose. Uh, thanks. We have also bothered to recruit Lando here. I was just going to turn them into an organ bag, but they do have a medication meditation focus of natural. We picked them up in a raid and... Uh, yeah, I was going to keep them for organs, but then I thought, you know what, if they can do natural focus and we enslave them, we can send them over here and hopefully they can do meditation. If they can't, we can always just turn them back into an organ bag. Well, uh, despite my misgivings about enslaving someone, it turns out, yes, they can worship at the animatory or can meditate at it, which means we're still getting progress on this all the time, and we've got two people now doing it, which, okay, doesn't quite double the speed, but it is a good bonus. Soon Tessex will be able to gain up a level and, well, okay, they're first level in Silank, then they need another five on top of that. At the same time, we're producing more miniguns because we have the components to do so. Uh, wait a minute, how many miniguns have we got going on right now? Oh, we have one under construction and we've got enough components to make a second one after that. That's going to put us well into solid minigun territory. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six more people who need miniguns. We've got two on the way. We just got to get some more components. Our trip to Sparland was quite nice, actually. A shock lance, insanity lance, and a bunch of components. There's several other things we'd like, but yeah, we just don't have the money for it. Uh, but it's fine. We can come back with more meat. We have just so much meat at the moment. This is going to be perfect. In fact, they have about 50 more components that we're going to want. Uh, so, I suppose, yeah, time to clean out the fridge. Ooh, excellent. Anime tree linking. Anima tree linking. Yeah, uh, you, begin your linking ritual, shall you? Uh, yep, there's, well, only two people who can really take part, and one of them's enslaved. Oops. Okay, begin. Okay, attending anima tree linking ends... Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, grand. Okay, that might take a few minutes. Yeah, Mitchell, how you doing? You have almost recharged your convert. How is how is Sky doing? Down to 34%. Mm, that is uh, taking a while. All right, over here we're going to put in our kitchen. This is where we're going to get cook up our survival meals, which we'll use for road trips for some of our caravans. Silent gained our second <laughs> wizard, I want to call him. Uh, they've also got burden. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you know what? You don't really care about that. You're going to be spending all day meditating at this tree one way or another, so you're going to be just fine. Uh, Lando, I hear they're slave. Well, we've got them experiencing a lot of terror right now because we put a gibbet cage behind them, which seems to be suppressing them. 
quite a bit, but still, Slave Rebellion Interval is 35 days, despite the Slave Collar, the Slave Strap, I, I gave him, like, the full gear. Yeah, felt a little bit bad about it, but, you know, Tessex is at least leveling up faster. When it comes to cooking, I've been informed that straw is now one of the best methods to go with. Uh, the reason being is, it starts off as minus 0 0.10 dirt, but it's really resistant to dirt, which means it's hard for it to get to the a, a, a filth point that's going to cause you problems. You need to go to minus one filth before your food can get start getting food poisoning from it. So if we go as far as 0.9, we should still be perfectly safe, unless they've changed other variables we're unaware of. So what that should mean is, Straw is very resistant, it shouldn't end up with any dirt on it, and we should be grand. Though do remember, when it comes to uh, kitchens, the doorway also counts. Every doorway in a kitchen, the tile underneath it still counts towards the cleanliness of the room. Even though it doesn't show up here, if you had a filthy doorway, it will still give you food poisoning. Or can, potentially, depending on the size of the room. Our next step here is going to be install a little production center in here. We're going to need some chem fuel, uh, a ground penetrating, ra or a scanner for finding uh, stuff, and we're also going to need... Uh, kept fuel generator so that we can actually run all of the power we're going to need. So I think we'll just wall this section in here, namely because it's just, uh, that's the only areas we can wall because of the water. Hey, some people say I I wasn't using, uh, or playing organically. Well, this is a little bit of organic play. This, this little piece here can be organic because it's not perfectly square. Oh, would you look at that? It's someone's birthday. Uh, what's the bets? It's Grumpy Granny. Yeah, Grumpy Gran. Hearing loss. Well, that's Unfortunate. Could be worse. And uh, their social skills is terrible anyway, so who cares? Now they can be Grumpy Granny who's hard of hearing. Well, we ramped up power production a bit to two chem fuel power generators. That'll give us 2,000. We've got another 1,000 coming in from that. And uh, we will probably scale that one back and replace it with another chem fuel one. They're just far more efficient. For example, you get... Where is it here? From wood. You take in 70 wood and it spits out 35 chem fuel. And then when it comes to these things here, you can see this thing's got 30 fuel and it lasts 6.5 days. This thing's got 75 wood and it only lasts 3.2 days. So the same amount of wood will last twice as long in here. So we'll probably, yeah, we'll get rid of that wood fire generator and replace it with one of these. Oh, sad wonder. Yeah, that's one of our slaves. Uh, final straw was trees are wrecked. Yeah, they're a bit of a hippie. And turns out we've been just murdering trees left, right, and center. They don't like it. Oh, slave expectations is 28. That's uh, kind of amazing, actually. Ooh, gibbet cage is not helping them. Maybe we should get rid of the gibbet cage. Nah, who doesn't like gibbet cages? All right, uh, next up. Yeah, that was it. We wanted to use the scanner to find stuff remotely. Now, where were we? Long-range mineral scanner. This is the one. Uh, unfortunately, we need to put that somewhere where it's not covering... Yeah, the, it needs open sky. Eh, uh, over here seems like a good plan. Research-wise, we've just knocked out geothermal. I'm kind of shocked that, of course, took a long time. That stuff's expensive. Uh, just trying to figure out what we're going to go for next. I think transport pods are the way to go. We're going to want to be leaving this place and moving elsewhere. Oh, we're going to want jump jet packs as well. Um, we're probably... Oh, Biosculpting would get rid of a few scars. Damn it, there's so many things you want. However, we do have our long-range mineral scanner up and running. That means we are going to tune it to components. And who is actually... Who's actually good for doing scanning? Hmm. You know what? We got a few. Even Grumpy Grind can get in on this action. Uh, I think we've got enough statues for now. All the repairs done, yeah, so... Uh, they'll sort something out. Well, it's it's all well and good going around and sorting out all of these things and building stuff up, but I really, really, really want to kill something. Plus, our, our crowd are getting a little bit antsy in their pants here. Recent conquest is down to three, uh, three mood pet bonus. Once it goes a little bit longer and we haven't raided someone long enough, they're going to start getting annoyed, literally getting negatives from that. Uh, oh, we have an exotic goods trader. You know what? Don't care. Don't care about the exotic goods trader. We're going off to go on a raid. Uh, we do have a little bit of a problem with the rating, though. Uh, the nearest one is Fun Robin, which actually is our closest trading partner. And the next nearest rating one is way over there, which... No. Instead, we're going to try rating one of these ancient complexes. Let's see how well that goes. It'll take us 0 0.1 days to get there. Items-wise, we've got all of that. Where is it? And everyone's pretty well armed. I think... I think we can handle just about anything to get thrown at us. Oh, I shouldn't say that, should I? We, we, we should have a reasonable chance of not dying horribly. Yeah, let's go with, go with that instead. Oh, and how's Sky doing? Sky, you, you want to go see it? Seriously, 6.3%. Just, oh, just convert already. In fact, you convert them now. That should instantly convert them the last of the wave, and then we can go about recruiting them. Damn it, I wanted to watch that. <sighs> Fine. Uh, let's go and... 
What the hell is that? What's that? Ancient mega cannon platform. Is it active? Doesn't look like it's active. Hmm. Oh, it has been broken for many years. Okay, okay, it's it's broken. Fine. So we've got to raid this. Where are we coming in? We are over here. Perfect. Let us charge. Where's the door? Should we go in the door or should we just go in the closest area? You know what? I'm thinking closest area is the way to go. Oh, watch out for fire traps. I remember this now. Oh, sky is converted to amulet. That damn time. How you doing? Well, you're iron willed and now you're one of us. And now we will recruit. They are the worst to try and convert to these type of people. Uh, just they have a 25% modifier which means they only convert a quarter as quickly that's why we immediately didn't let them gain any faith as much as we could except for the failed conversion ceremony but that still took us a full 11 days god damn you are a toughie but don't worry soon soon you will be one of us now back to fighting all right everyone get in here now yep that's good let's find a wall to go through doors are for wusses all right, you, attack. Let's slow that down a little bit. Your accuracy is terrible. Okay. Okay, it's the Sadukai. Right. Underground, you're body modded. Well, you're not a quick shooter. You know what that means? Death. Eh. Uh, come on. I'm thinking... Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking you, you weren't going to have a good chance there. All right, uh, let's see what else is in here. No one's injured yet. Okay, left or right? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh. Oh, there's a door. Okay, everyone line up. Ooh, actually, I just heard animals. Is there animals on this map worth taking? few muffalo some you know what we're gonna deal with whatever's in here first we will claim you crank you open and okay ancient storage cylinder hermetic crate unknown and ancient unstable fuel node I think this might be the thing they were talking about yeah yeah I I I see what they mean hmm Okay, let's start a count. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi. Okay, you got seven Mississippis when that thing starts to go. Um, all right, fine. Everyone in. We're going to have to put this place out. Oh, this place is going to become an inferno, isn't it? Hmm. Deconstruct. Who's got good construction skills? Wait a minute, what am I doing? This room is already part of it. So what we'll do is we'll just pull everyone back there. And there we go. Now it's all outdoors. Perfect. Now let's get people in there and start putting out the fires. We want to get into that hermetically sealed crate before anything is lost. Actually, that wasn't that bad. All the flames are just sort of disappearing because... Well, it's, it's only fuel. Once the fuel ex extinguishes itself, unless there's anything to attach onto... Right. Let's not enter this room if there's a fuel container in it. That would be a smart uh, plan. Uh, you crank open. You immediately get back. And right. This is where they filmed the saw, I believe. And that's the guy that chopped off his leg. Uh, let's go in here. I'll open that crate in a minute. I don't want to open them unless it, in case it triggers something until we've cleaned out the rest of this place. Uh, let's go. We might as well continue clockwise. Oh, yeah. You ready? Let's see what's in here. Uh, pull back. Ooh. Unstable fuel cell. Uh, nope. Everyone back. Alright, so it takes a second. Alright, we need wood. Ali, we're going to need you front and center. We're going to get you to chop down that tree. That should give us enough wood to make two wall segments, maybe three. I'm thinking, considering the time we have, we've got seven seconds, we can probably wall in a little bit of this at least. Uh, I don't want the rest of this place going up. Actually, there's only one of those. Yeah, there's only one. So we say wall this in and contain the blast. I don't think we can get four wall segments around it, but we can get three. 
All right, let me get some constructors together and, oh, we should jam that door open while we're at it. And yoink, one minute while we get the prep work done. So it turns out we only brought one good constructor. So Ali here is not only just our planter, they're also our constructor. Uh, good luck. We're only sending one person in because if this goes horribly wrong, someone has to rescue you. Okay, one down. Nope. Damn it. Okay, so those barrels block stuff. That was uh, enough. Uh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. All right. Actually, we had plenty of time. We could have probably done the third wall if you had planned that just a little bit smarter. My bad. Uh, you gotta go. Perfect. Now, let's put the fires out. God, so many fires. I was really hoping the walls would contain the blast more, and they kind of contained it down this direction. I think if you had gotten that one, it would have saved this whole area of the room and would have, well, saved us a whole bunch of time. But, hey, it is what it is. You live and you learn. All right, we saved this room, though I'm beginning to wonder why. I... Is there anything worth actually doing with this? Eh. Prioritize deconstructing that. Let's see what it yields. Nothing. How about those, those ancient barrels? Does that actually give us anything? Come on. Well, okay, so not really worth the waste of our time. Fine, you know what? Now I feel so much better. Okay, so we got ancient generator, ancient crypto sleep pod, ancient generator. Well, uh, let's go wake up Sleeping Beauty. Hopefully they're unconscious and want to join us and are a quick shooter. Okay, you, uh, open. Uh, you know what? Maybe get everyone a little bit closer. I think they'll be less likely to cause friendly fire. Okay, this is probably not going well. Uh, where are you? Your name is Nick. I would love to save you, but I don't think it's possible. Ow, and you hurt one of our people. Ah, uh, crack brew from Human Fist. Okay, they went down, and unfortunately they'd already deployed their shield. Never mind. Next! All right then. Hmm. Comms console. Link to supply satellite. We'll claim it. All right, let's start opening everything up and seeing what we got. All right, we opened up a hermetically sealed crate and got a joy wire, which is, uh, cannot hack ancient enemy terminal, incapable of hacking. Hack ancient enemy terminal... There's somebody at a certain prerequisite level of intelligence for this, and the more intelligence they have, the better, I presume. Yeah, because Ali has zero intelligence, they can't do it. And do we have anyone else with no intelligence? Yeah, same. Okay, so we're probably best off using our highest intelligence person for that job. Uh, hacking the ancient enemy will alert enemies and cause them to attack. Do you really want to hack? Ooh. Yeah. Why not? I don't know what this gains us, though. Oh, wow, look at that stuff. Raid from the Nequatians? I'm gonna assume... Wait, is this on our home base? Or which... Ta oh, no, wait. It's over here. Seriously? Seriously. Fast learner, nudist, and careful shooting... Well, okay, at least they brought us a skull. Um, fine. But what do we get out of that? Hack, hack progress 4 of 4. Okay, next. I'll go take care of the uh, the people outside in a minute. Just open this crate. And what's left? Oh, there's also this ancient comms terminal. Are you two having a social fight right now? Like, right? Ooh, okay. Okay, that's, that's not great. Now, uh, unfortunately, we left behind people who had, you know, any abilities. Oh, wow, everyone's very unhappy. Yeah, I think I get it. Uh, okay. Time to get out of here. We need to kill these people and leave. Everyone's mood is horrendous. I wasn't even paying attention. Come on, everyone down here. Where are they? Hey, guys. Please tell me you didn't injure yourselves too badly. Wow, that is, uh... That is bullets, all right. <laughs> Jesus. 
Okay, okay, fine. Uh, what are you at? You took a few bruises. Okay, you didn't actually murder each other too badly. I was worried that you were going to do something incredibly stupid. There's now a supply satellite. Okay, fine. You know what? We'll grab that real quick and then we'll get out of here. Carol is, of course, our smartest. I assume this will make it take less time. Yeah, not even a warning either. Ancient supply satellite has been activated. Supplies will drop nearby. Okay. Excellent. Muffalo wool. Well, okay then. I think that's it. Can we destroy this? Yes, we can. God damn it! One person. Gear. Oh wait, bio. Chemical interest, pyromaniac, nervous. Eh, their gear is actually pretty good. Recon armor, charge lance. Ooh, I think we'll wait around a corner for them and then we'll shoot them in the face. That seems like a good plan. I don't want to, don't fancy getting into a ranged combat with one of them. All right, uh, everyone line up here for the moment. Let's see what happens if we destroy this comms console. Nothing. What are you, security crate? Okay, let's see what's in here. Gold. Okay, as looting goes, I was kind of expecting more, to be honest. Also, I'm pretty sure that this didn't count as a raid, did it? Yep, this did not count as a raid. We're still going to have to go raiding. God damn it. This guy's going to be a while. Let's go out and wait from behind some rocks. That seems like the reasonable thing to do to a neighbor. All right, here he comes. Uh, let's just stay right there is perfect. Okay, buddy. Come on. Come on. Wow, okay, that sucked. And done. Whew. Let's get out of here. We're going to have to go on another caravan quite shortly. Uh, let's grab everything we possibly can. As far as looting goes, this is pretty terrible. 78 gold is about the best thing we got. A smoke pop pack. Uh, yeah, some a joy wire, a little bit of wood and some weapons. Not really feeling it. Hmm. Okay, well... Time to head back home and find ourselves a new target. Everyone is safely home. Uh, Grumpy Grant, of course, gets the slow animals. <laughs> okay, Grant. Uh, I think we won't have much time to rest. The problem is we need somewhere to raid. The thing is, the closest one is over here, unless we want to go and attack either... Well, I kind of want to attack that one later. We could attack the Black Trobo tribe. In fact, I think attacking the Black Trobo tribe would be easier, though they are a trading partner. Reason being, this one has 26 people at it. I'm pretty sure there's less than 26 people over there. It's actually getting easier to destroy settlements, whole settlements, than work sites now. I think the, the difficulty curve kind of throws things off just a tad. But we're, we're way over time, again, because of course we are. Um, I think the next step planned, though, is we've done quite well this episode. We've managed to equip just about everyone with miniguns. We're a few short, but what, one, two, three, three more miniguns and we're done on the minigun front? Well, at least until we recruit in Sky. We've got one more recruit along the way, and where was it? Ah, yes. Tesex here has already got one level, and there's halfway to their next level at the anima tree. We just need a we just need a tribal raid to show up with about two or three people we can recruit, and we'll be sorted. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck.